ओके लेट्स रिटर्न टू आर थीम्स ऑफ दी प्ले i was discussing okay. malevolence and its psychological aspects uh, psychological aspects of uh, malevolence can be seen in uh, anxiety restlessness and constant uh, trouble of uh, the character character remains in quest of uh, mental peace and calm that can be seen in character of uh, richard duplicity of mirror an emblem of instruction and order in renaissance and shadow duplicity of mirror and shadow is thought you can say artistic merit of this play a significance uh, contrast mirror and shadow and uh, that mirror and shadow sir screen share kar de sorry lekin mere paas to ye show ho raha hai ke share hai sir cms wali share hai we lecture wali nahi hai यस सर ये सी में सी एम एस वाले को वो करके ना मिनिमाइज कर दें तो फिर दूसरी शो हो जाएगी सॉरी अब हो रही यस yes, सर अब हो रही है बट इसको सर आप थोड़ा सा जूम कर दें या यस yes. अब ये okay it's visible uh mirror uh in renaissance age mirror was taken as uh, emblem of order and it was contrasted with shadow that was a renaissance you can say an idea because a renaissance society believed in hierarchy and in, because of that hierarchy they believed you can say a symmetry order everything is at its right place and shadows they were actually possible you can say thread to that mirror or threads to that order so mirror and shadow that imagery that uh, uh, um, contrast is used by the dramatist here we see a uh, mirror is you can see structure and shadows uh unrestrained impulsive lusty richards intentions to uh, affect these uh, this mirror but that idea or you can say a clear division of right and wrong that has been uh reviewed and its complexity has been pointed out in recent studies next is uh, double voice double voice sir uh, uh, sir mirror ko aur shadow ko just ek ek word mein bata dein ki mirror stands for and shadow stands for uh, mirror stand for order shadow stand for chaos okay sir thank you in renaissance age but generally it can be said mirror is a uh, truth and shadow is a, you can say falsity or darkness double voice means sir mirror hamesha ek aisa object hai jisme hum apne shadow ko dekhte hain तो क्या हम ये कह सकते हैं कि अपीयरेंस वर्सेस रियलिटी क्या मिरर अपीयरेंस है और शैडो रियलिटी है सॉरी शैडो को नहीं देखते रिफ्लेक्शन को देखते ओके ठीक है ठीक है सर तो ये दैट्स अनदर थिंग दैट रिफ्लेक्शन इज रियल और नॉट ओके सर बट रिफ्लेक्शन इज एक्यूरेट 
reflection is exact reflection is accurate but it's not the person which is being seen in mirror Sh shadow is absence of reflection okay sir uh there are you can say two voices uh, one is uh, called voice of uh, uh, machiavelli where ambition is more important than moral and other is voice of christianity where you can say virtue or uh, goodness is more important than accomplishment of desire and ambition uh protagonist definitely is machiavellian and uh not actually machiavellian in the sense that he can uh what we can say pretend and feign better that is his uh, shortcoming because machiavellian characters are more like edmund or uh, claudius they are best in uh, concealing their true selves uh richard third perhaps is not so good in this way but he is more scheming more skillful and uh, uh, you can say uh, more corrupt at the core of him and uh, probably he is the person who has abandoned his christian conscience for ever uh this this play uh, is much appreciated by a theory that is called meta theater play within uh, play type but uh, in fact in this play there is no such play within play as we see in uh, see in hamlet in fact that's the language of this drama and this in this play uh, you can say there are words phrases which 